I know it's been a long time since I've talked about anything in accounting, but we're going to go ahead and talk about a topic tonight. It's called cost-effective accounting. Every month you have to produce, as an accountant, reports that go to the Securities the Exchange Commission, to the IRS. You have to produce special reports uh, to show how much your employees are getting paid, so on and so forth. Okay, Those are just mandatory period. You have to produce those reports. But there are other reports that accountants usually produce that have nothing to do with the Securities Exchange Commission, the IRS, have nothing to do with employee payroll, that kind of thing. These are reports that show you specific things. Let's take an example. You are a car manufacturer. You build cars. You then have those cars parked on a certain lot until they're loaded up on trucks to take out and take to the dealerships. All right. Now, it would be kind of cool to know which cars you're manufacturing that are being taken to the, at most to the dealerships. Okay. Uh, these dealerships, they look at your cars and they say, well, Car brand A, the, 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 the let's say the four-door sedan. You have the four-door sedan, you have the Jeep. Okay? And these uh, car dealerships, they take a look at your four-door sedans and they say, you know what, we like those. We want to order a lot of those. But then they take a look at your Jeep and say, hey, we ain't going to sell those on our sales floor. We don't want a lot of those. So then you, as an accountant, produce a report that says, hey, these people at the dealerships, they love our four-door sedans, but they're not too fond of our Jeeps. That would be a special report presented to the management of the car manufacturing facility. Hey, look at this pie chart. Three-quarters of our sales to these dealerships have been four-door sedans. The other ones have been Jeeps. Well, that kind of report would be very useful because then you say, well, we're not going to manufacture as many Jeeps because we know that the dealerships won't take them and we'll produce more of these four-door sedans because we know the dealerships will take those. Now that came really important when it came to the sport utility vehicles. Okay, the SUVs. You've seen these SUVs on the roads. For a long time, they've been gas hogs. Now, of course, lately, they've changed the, the design of the car, well, the, the SUV. They've changed the design of the SUV, and now they're not so gas-guzzling. But at the time, it, there was a time when they were just big old gas-guzzlers. Well, when the gas prices went up, the dealerships are like, I don't want these SUVs. They're not selling them. They might buy buyers, my customers, will not buy those SUVs because they're gas guzzlers. So the accountant made a report and said, hey, we're not selling too many of these SUVs. We're manufacturing a lot of them, but we're not selling them too well. Well, that report became quite valuable, and they said, okay, we're not going to manufacture as many SUVs because if we do, we're just going to have a whole bunch of SUVs sitting on our lot, and they're not going to go anywhere. And that's not going to look too good on our sales. So they produce less SUVs for that very reason. Until, of course, the technology caught up and the gas guzzling part of the SUV was fixed. And then the SUV sales went up again. Alright. But those reports that accountants make cost money. You have to pay the employee to make that report. If you're paying more to that employee to make those kind of reports than what those reports are actually revealing, you may not want to make those reports. No, I tell the employee, don't make those kind of reports. It's costing us too much. So that's what we mean by cost-effective accounting. Having specialized reports can actually cost your business more than the information they provide to you. You might be able to find a cheaper way to find out the same thing. Maybe you'll, you'll buy a computer program where you can throw in a bunch of numbers and boom. You can do it yourself and you don't have to have that accountant produce that information for you. Whew. Hopefully you understand that. Now we could also talk about retail. 
Retail can be just as effective with this kind of stuff as, as uh, manufacturing. Okay. Retail goes out, they try to look for products that are going to sell in their stores. And they, and they buy all this merchandise, they start selling in their stores. And then the accountant produces some special report that says, hey, you know, product A is selling very, very well, but product B is not. And you say, okay, we aren't going to buy so much product B to sell on our sales floor because it's not giving us very much money, but product A is. Well, remember, it costs money to get those kind of reports made. So therefore, you have to weigh how much the report is costing you and whether the information is that valuable to you. And if it's not that valuable, you don't want to produce that report. So hopefully through those examples you understand what cost-effective accounting is and uh, if you're going to try to produce those kind of reports uh, maybe you might want to use a computer program over an accountant. Might be more effective and cheaper. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video so stay tuned.